So I'm very excited to share. This is one of my favorite personal topics because this is how I got to use essential oils. And I'm going to talk about that in a second. But tonight we're going to learn how easy it is to make over your kiddo's medicine cabinet with oily healers for your little one's boo-boos, high temperatures, cold coughs, and so much more. So a quick little overview of what our agenda is for this evening. I'm going to cover an introduction. I'm going to talk about dilution and using our essential oils safely. Then we'll talk about babies and oils. Some of us still have babies or maybe are planning to have more. Um, then kids and oily remedies. And then I'll just show you what's happening a little bit this month in September, because we do have a couple of oils that are relevant that are on sale this month. So I definitely want to talk to you about those and mention it. For those who are brand new, and are joining me for the first time. I'm seeing some new names, which is quite always exciting and always fun. My name is Jade Almale, and I have two children, Mika and Sage. They are age 10 and 8 years old, and I have a very creative husband. I've been working with Young Living and Essential Oils and basically doing this business side of things since December 2016. I was a former sleep coach, and I worked with parents on healthy habits and establishing routines. And then I really love to make people laugh. I think my secret passion is being a stand-up comic or comment like comedian. And I also really love teaching people. And I really do. One of my favorite things is empowering other people with knowledge because that was my journey and it helped me so much to bring me to where I am. So a little bit about my story. This picture on the right here is my family. That's my husband, Oran. And there's Mika and Sage. And it all started my oily journey with Little Sage. Little Sage wasn't well when she was 16 months old, as she looks in these pictures, because she is now eight years old. And she got temperatures and she had these terrible high fevers for, it ended up being a total of 14 days, but around day five of going for the second time to the pediatrician with no answers and no real help, she had a febrile seizure, and then we were told to use painkillers and over-the-counter medicines, excuse me, to just try and get her to recover from these temperatures. So that's what we were doing for her, and it honestly wasn't really helping. And I was getting really frustrated, and this little girl was just not getting better. And the only advice I was given by our pediatricians was to obviously make sure that there's nothing more serious that we can't see. So I did all the tests, I did all the things, everything came back negative. So there was nothing very serious going on, thankfully, but I didn't have any answers. So that led me to be quite inspired, really, to look for alternatives. So enter Young Living, and I learned about it through actually a good friend of mine's sister who had been using essential oils herself for about four or five years and she shared with me all about Young Living and all about how Young Living is very unique in their whole approach of how they do things and why it is very important to use the right quality essential oil. So they are the leader in the essential oil industry, by the way, and they just do so many things very differently. So they have a seed to seal quality commitment. And um, gosh, if you want to know more about that, I can go into so much detail. But because our time is somewhat limited, I really like to kind of jump in and focus on our topic at hand. But I'm very grateful that I learned about Young Living. And I actually used one drop of peppermint essential oil, which is in that picture, in that carrier oil that Sage is actually reaching for. And when she got a temperature, about three weeks after I got a starter kit for her, we used that on her and her temperature lowered. And not only did it lower, she's never again gotten a seizure, never had a seizure. We only use essential oils now in my family for everything from high temperatures to headaches, to boo-boos, cuts, like all the things. So tonight you're going to learn how we do things now in my house, but that is my passion and my driving force to teach other people because this for us gave us so many answers and we really were able to skip so many illnesses and things that I watch so many other families get and I've seen and we have had including HFM that's hand foot mouth norovirus where children are vomiting or throwing up and by the way this picture at the bottom here is actually of sage with a rash 
So I don't know if you guys have ever seen this, but um, Sage is actually allergic to penicillin. So, you know, again, I'm not a doctor. I think that everyone needs to do what they want to do that feels right and comfortable for them. But this is what used to happen to her any time that I would give this kid um, antibiotics. She would just break out in a rash, even if it wasn't penicillin. So it also kind of made me feel a little bit uncomfortable and started making me question and ask, is this really the best way and the only way? So I'm very grateful that I asked those questions and I live a very different life now. And so do my kids. And I'm just, I feel so grateful that this, we learned all of this and that we do things so differently because we actually have so much success with it. So it's super important to understand how we use essential oils. And there are three methods of use that we know with Young Living. And I keep stressing Young Living because I cannot tell you how important that piece of it is where I teach people, oh, you know what's great for allergies? Lavender, lemon, and peppermint is really fantastic for allergies. And then off they go to whatever store, okay, Dischem clicks, and they get all excited. They're like, oh, look, I bought the lavender and the lemon and the peppermint that you told me to buy. And they get no results from that. Why? Because it's absolutely not therapeutic grade. So again, we have a seed to seal quality commitment with Young Living, which means from the time seeds are chosen until the time that every single bottle of theirs is sealed, Young Living has controlled every single part of that process. So no other company does that. They outsource somewhere. And the second you outsource, you are actually losing control. So um, that's super important. You don't want to do that. Okay, so we we go to great lengths to ensure the best quality products that are in our essential oils. So aromatic use, two ways to use them in our diffusers, or you just smell it from the bottle. Topical use, we're going to talk quite a lot about topical use because it comes up quite a lot with kids. And topical use is when we make a roller or we use it on our skin. So we're going to go into great detail with that. So topical means on the skin and then internal so we can use our essential oils internally and with kids I'm going to touch on that and how we're using it in that way and it's not every single essential oil that we have that we take internally there is a bit of a learning curve it's quite easy you can even look up the vitality range which exists in the United States but it's just kind of a good overall to know which ones are safe for internal use so they had to do a different label in the US but we have the same essential oils here for example young living lemon essential oils is the exact same as Young Living's Vitality Lemon Essential Oil. It's just a label thing. And that's because the FDA doesn't allow you to label three methods of use on one product. Okay. So essential oils can help us realign emotionally, physically, and spiritually. So now let's talk about how essential oils work. Well, in 22 seconds, the molecules can reach the brain. In two minutes, they will be found in the bloodstream. In 20 minutes, they will affect every cell in the body. And this is a scientific fact, by the way. And the reason this is possible is because essential oils are so tiny. And because of their teeny tiny size and our human receptors, it makes for perfect natural medicine. This is also why and how essential oils can cross the blood brain barrier whereas most drugs or medicine cannot do that because their molecules are bigger in size okie dokes so we're going to go right into babies so those of you who have babies who are zero to six months let's talk a little bit about babies i made this slide of our favorite essential oils when it comes to babies so copa eba that's how you pronounce it top left is brilliant for teething so copa eba you can use it neat when i say neat it means undiluted it means straight from the bottle so you would take that copa eba you would put it in your hand put a drop on your finger rub it on your baby's gums three months old totally fine no problem no side effects all good only happy healthy babies okay then for tummy aches we can use the KidSense tummy jars. Now, any KidSense product has actually been pre-diluted. And generally, they say it's best for a two-year-old, like a two-plus-year-old. So I would recommend if you're using this for a real young baby, you actually want to dilute it a little bit more with some carrier oil. We're going to touch on that in a little bit. But the KidSense tummy jars is an absolute must-have essential oil when it comes to tummy aches. We'll touch on that more in a little bit. Okay, screaming, crying babies. I cannot tell you how often 
I've encountered them. I worked with them. I still kind of work with them. And gentle baby in and of itself, just holding that bottle under the baby's nose while they are screaming or they're just uncomfortable. And of course, as parents, we go through the checklist. Are they hot? Are they cold? Do they have a dirty nappy? Do they, you know, have they been fed? Are they overtired, overstimulated? And sometimes this baby is just screaming its head off and we actually don't know why. Gentle baby is so helpful for that. It is very soothing and it definitely calms them. One of my favorite ways to use this essential oil is under their feet. And again, you can do the average dilution and we'll, I'll show you a, a whole graphic that shows this is one drop of essential oil to 50 drops of carrier oil when it comes to zero to six months, okay? With babies who have colic, another great oil is Dajaz. So I don't go anywhere without Dajaz because this one covers the board for me. For myself and a bloated tummy, a sore tummy, I've overeaten, I have indigestion, gas, bloating, etc. With babies, one drop of Dajaz in a 10 mil roller if they have colic. Now, when we apply essential oils on babies, by the way, we usually think belly button down. So you can only put it under the belly button a little bit. So not by their private parts, just under the belly. But the best area is just under their feet. You know that you're safe. And the reason for this is we don't want this baby flailing their limbs and they touch their belly and then they touch their face. And now they're really upset or they break out in a little bit of a rash because our essential oils are very potent and powerful. So even though we've diluted it, we just want to make sure that we keep it in the lower extremities. So under the feet is best. And my other two favorite essential oils when it comes to babies for sleep is lavender or dreamy ease, kids sense dream ease. And those are fantastic. Just one drop in the diffuser is fantastic. Or one drop of gentle baby in the diffuser. Really, really nice, calming, peaceful, and absolutely safe and fine for them. Okie dokes. So Young Living has a kid sense range. Now in the United States, they are listed as different names. We have different labeling laws in South Africa. So tummy jars is tummy jars, that's all over. And so in other words, it's in the UK, it's in the United States, it's, it's the same name everywhere. Dream Ease is known as Sleepy Eyes in the United States, but it's the exact same essential oil inside. So that is for sleep and for calming. Refresh is known as Sniffle Ease in the United States. And this is going to be for snotty, um, congested noses. And then we have Kid Power, which is for feelings of brave and calm as well, to calm them. And if they, it's a new day of school, things like that. And then we do have two other ones um, in the Kid Sense range, and they are called Owie, which is made up of an essential oil called Helichrysum. Brilliant for cuts and scrapes and any kind of thing that needs healing or, you know, when they're, they're walking little toddlers and they go and bump their heads and they get a goose egg. So we are so hoping to get our essential oil here. But for now, you can buy helichrysum and just dilute it out a lot. Essentially, that is what our oil is. And then the other one is called Genius, another brilliant one, which is for focus, especially for children who are on the spectrum or just have trouble focusing. So it's called Genius and it's spelled G E N. E Y U S. So we're really hoping for those to come in South Africa. I'm telling you when you see them and they do come, definitely grab them for your kiddos. So quick little summary, dream ease. This is going to be for bedtime. Focus on putting it under their footsies. Tummy jars. This is actually going to be on your kid's tummy. Remember again that all kids sense essential oils were made for children two years plus. So if they are younger, then you can just dilute it a little bit more. I'd probably say one to one in this instance, okay? Um, the refresh is going to be for blocked noses, um, chests, congestions, coughs. So this one is great if you feel that they're getting sniffles or if they're congested in any way. And then you have kid power, like I said, for feelings of confidence. And this is really great to empower and uplift them. Okie dokes. Dilution. So why is it important to dilute? Well, Young Living Essential Oils are potent from being absolutely 100% pure. 
So applying oils on the feet of infants and children is a good place to start, like I said, and then you can slowly increase to the other areas. Now, when it comes to a sore tummy, as an example, and for colic in little babies, you can do it under the belly button. You can put it on the tummy. So we prefer to start with higher dilution ratios from six months plus. We do recommend oilynotebook.com's dilution calculator. And then for children under five with a history of respiratory issues or seizures, you do want to avoid the use of these oils or use them well diluted on the bottoms of their feet, not the chest area. So things like peppermint, eucalyptus, rosemary, wintergreen, you kind of want to stay away from those. If you are ever in doubt, just don't use it. So there are plenty other oils that you can use instead that will work. So that's just a little safety reminder for you guys. And here's a great graph showing you dilution ratios for kids so you can screenshot this if you want but I do um, share my slides after the call you'll usually get it 24 hours after we we do this chat so you can see six months to two years dilute four times the label recommendation and here's a nice indication you know of what to do moving forward and then um talking about the diffuser I'm kind of going to jump so you might notice this class is going to jump forward, go back a little. It's because it's, you'll see it's all like intermixed, but the diffuser is a brilliant option to use. This is again, aromatic use. And just a reminder that essential oils, our essential oils are very, very effective, even from smelling them, whether it's straight out the bottle or in the, diff in the diffuser. So we recommend start with two or three drops total in the diffuser. Now, again, if it's a baby and it's zero to six months, one drop. Okay, six drops total is generally a good amount. If you have been using our essential oils and it's been maybe you've been using them for two weeks or one month and you have children that are, say, three years and older. Otherwise, I would say about four drops is plenty if it's going to be in their bedroom. So to wake up a really nice morning wake up time would be lemon and peppermint. This is a great start for little ones who go to school. Citrus Fresh is also fantastic on its own. Bergamot, lemon and lavender is also really nice as well to wake up. And for night night, lavender and cedarwood. A quick little side note that cedarwood sometimes causes very intense dreams. And for some little ones, they might have nightmares. So instead of the cedarwood, replace it with white angelica. In fact, white angelica prevents nightmares. And so does Northern Lights Black Spruce. So if you have a child who has night um, tremors yeah and they are waking up at random or they wake and they're screaming crying and they don't actually even remember then you definitely want to consider getting white angelica or northern lights black spruce both of those are going to work to get good dreams and a lot of calming other alternatives lavender peace and calming kids sense dream ease or gentle baby other diffuser recipes is for chill the F out. So if your child is seriously having a very hard time, you can use lavender, peace and calming, gentle baby. And again, I know I haven't written it in here, but white angelica, you can see it under there with the smiles. Um, but I really love white angelica for calming and you'll see it in our tantrum tamer as well. So to help kids to feel happy and be more, have more pep in their step, Joy is a beautiful essential oil. It's actually the one that we use as our antidepressant when it comes to essential oils. Then for feelings of being brave or calming, Valor. Valor is one of my favorite essential oils and it has so many great uses. Peace and calming is also great. Kid sense, kid power. For focus, lavender, cedarwood, and vetiver. Those are my all-time favorites. When we get kid sense genius, it's just brilliant. So definitely try that. Rosemary is also really good, even though it's not mentioned on this slide. Rosemary actually helps us retain information. So for older kids, if they are being tested or if they do have exams and things like that, or even just when they go for piano lessons or something like that, rosemary is actually fantastic to be diffusing. If you're a teacher and you have a classroom, it's also a great essential oil to put in there to help your kids to actually retain and remember what you're telling them. And of course, frankincense. So you'll see it's a lot of the tree oils. It's a lot of the grounding essential oils that will really help for a child to focus. Okie doke. So let's go back to topical use. Remember that topical is when we are putting it on the skin. So we need to make sure that we are diluting it in the appropriate way. So making your own essential oil roll-on blends 
balms and even sprays ahead of time can be simple and so helpful when it comes to putting them to use when they are needed. When a roll-on recipe calls for a carrier oil, we recommend Young Living's V6 vegetable oil complex. So you can buy that through Young Living. It's a blend of fractionated coconut oil, which is just a fancy way of saying coconut oil in a liquid state all the time, sesame seed oil, grapeseed oil, sweet almond oil, wheat germ oil, sunflower seed oil, and extra virgin olive oil. Hence, V6. It's six vegetable oils together. That's why we call it V6. So it's very nourishing. It's got antioxidant vegetable oils that are colorless and odorless. The next best alternative I find in South Africa is MCT oil, or you can buy yourself fractionated coconut oil if you can find it. Okay. So we're going to touch a little bit in terms of my favorite uses of these oils and some of my favorite recipes that I find that kind of cover the bases of sickness and a whole lot of stuff, really. So I'm not going to cover every single one of these recipes. I'm just going to kind of go through these slides, but I will share them. But these are some of my favorites. So a chest roller is really going to be focused on a child who's struggling to breathe well because of congestion. So RC is one of my all-time favorite essential oils when it comes to any type of cough, cold, or congestion. It really means respiratory support. And the alternative to that is Raven. They often say that if a child is asthmatic, Raven is really the better alternative, but RCR Raven is so good for an asthmatic child. It's a, it's a great roller to actually have for them. And I know of a couple of people who've actually been able to get their children off the asthma pump. So again, I'm not a doctor and I'm not suggesting that that's what you should do, but they have been able to do that by using RC or Raven instead. And they have a roller and the child uses that roller. They even can put it in their hands and take some calming, big, deep breaths. Um, you can also add to this chest roller some lemon purification, which for me, a nice reminder, purification prevents infection. Time. Time, any time there is time, it actually helps to prevent that like tickle that we often get with a cough. So this is also great to put in a diffuser if a child has a persistent cough. I cannot be without RC ever in my house because my older daughter used to really struggle and suffer with croup. She no longer does. And RC was the answer for us. So we have since never touched steroids. And I'm really trying to, I don't mean to in any way sound judgmental. If you are still using medicines and you are still seeing doctors and doing all of that, no problem. You do what works, but this is such a wonderful first line of defense and hopefully it will work for you like it did for me. And I'm so like stoked and happy that honestly, we've saved so much money and we've saved so many trips to doctors with medicines and all the things, which for us wasn't really helping. So just throwing that out there. Okay. Anyway, when you make a roller bottle, you always put essential oils in first, then you're going to fill it with carrier oil. You keep it on a nice um, table or something that is steady. And then you fill it with the carrier oil. The reason I like V6 is it comes with a pump. So you can kind of lean that over and you fill that carrier oil up to the top. And then you just pop on that roller bot that roller fitment part and you put on the lid. Then you can use washi tape with a permanent marker, label it chest roller. And I actually tell people a nice little tip for you. Use your thieves cleaner once you've made that roller to spray it down. Now it's nice and clean. So it's not oily residue around the bottle. And then you can label it and your label will stay. So it's quite fun to get like different kinds of washi tape and you know which things. And this way, it really helps my husband and I communicate too. I'm just like, it's the one with the red washi tape on it that says chest. That's the one that X child needs right now for their cough that they have. So before we use our rollers, you want to roll the bottle gently between your hands, and then you can apply a few swaps in this instance on the chest as often as needed to help support deep breathing. Now, if my child has got like a lot of congestion, I will put it under their feet and also on their back. Another great one to do is to make a chest rub. So personally, when I first got started with essential oils, I actually sat with the oil and glass recipe book, which I'm going to show you what that looks like at the end. And I spent two hours. Firstly, I went through the whole book and I flagged all the ones that I wanted to do. I then wrote a list for myself of all the essential oils that I wanted to get. 
I did get myself on essential rewards so that I could maximize my purchases and get all those awesome loyalty points and then later get some free product and such. So, and then just to mention to you that if, for example, like you don't have bergamot right now, you're still saving up for it, you can still make this chest rub, okay? So you can do it and just leave that one out. In general, a lot of our recipes, you can now and again like leave out some of the things that you don't yet have so for a chest rub rc is going to work brilliantly and so will peppermint those are kind of the main things that you need so you'd get like a half a cup or a 120 ml glass jar you can absolutely repurpose an old jam jar or something like that we're all about sustainability here and recycling so feel free to do one of those and then for example when it comes to making a rub or an ointment you'll see that later I actually talk about a nappy rash preventative ointment that you can make yourself which I actually also did years ago when sage was 16 months and we got started with all of this you actually want to use a double boiler so if you don't have a traditional double boiler no stress take a, a pot and you put a little bit of water in there um, so fill it you know so much and then you want to put like a ceramic or a stainless steel bowl in there or a glass bowl that can handle high temperature like a pyrex and then you want to put in your hard, like in this instance, a half a cup of the cold pressed organic coconut oil. That is basically the kind that you find in any grocery store. I just look for an organic one. I know there's like Lemke. I think it's Lemke. Yeah. Or Lemke. Um, so there's a few different brands. Just look for an organic one. And anything that is hard based, you're going to use it in the double boiler, melt it down, and then you wait for it to cool before you add your essential oils. This is because we never wanna to add too much heat to essential oils. It actually breaks down their brilliant properties. So you would melt that all down. You then add the essential oils, stir, mix it gently. I would just use a fork. And when you're working with all of these things and essential oils, you have to use ceramics or glass or stainless steel. So nothing plastic, okay? That's because our amazing essential oils are going to pull and leach toxins from any plastic. Even if it's a BPA-free plastic, we don't want to use that. Sorry, I'm having a nice, relaxing, calming tea here. Um, anyhow, you're going to transfer all of this to your jar, and there you go. You've got yourself a chest wrap. And just by the way, side note, this is a hell of a lot more non-toxic. Sadly, VIX is very toxic. So this is a really nice, brilliant alternative and it lasts so long. So what I wanted to say to you is what I did um, years ago when I first got started is I had leafed and flagged all the recipes I wanted to do. I wrote the list of the ingredients that I needed to get. I got myself all set up and I spent two hours one night and I had redone my entire medicine cabinet and all of the things I made lasted more than two years but they do say that whatever roller you make you should probably be done with after two years because it's the carrier oil that actually goes rancid so the essential oils don't but the carrier oils will so you only really need to redo these every two years okay so again a really nice thing to use with the chest rub is you rub it on the chest and the back about three times a day or as often as in, as needed and it really helps to actually apply a shirt after the oil application to help prevent kids from touching the oils so that they don't touch their eyes another little awesome tip for you guys if it's not even if when you get an essential oil in or around the eye or near the mouth or the face, it's going to happen. If you use essential oils, you will see that that will happen. Don't stress. Don't panic. Just go and grab any carrier oil that you can get your hands on. Whatever's in the kitchen, avocado oil, grapeseed oil, coconut oil, olive oil, just grab that put more onto wherever it's burning or irritating the child. I'll never forget the day my little Sagey grabbed a bottle of Thieves and was like, because she knows to smell the oils and it touched her a little bit here. She was 18 months and she just like dropped the bottle and went, oh, oh, you know, and I knew she was, it was, it's a hot oil. So it was bothering her, grabbed coconut oil, put a whole little lump of it on there. It melted all good. It totally diluted it out. So don't think soap and water. Oil needs oil. So oil binds with other oil to actually dilute it out. Okay. 
And another tip, especially in our winter months, if your kid is very chesty, coffee, put it under feet and then put socks on and you will find such a nice relief from a cough. Okay, this is our wellness roller or our immunity roller. We use this roller every day, twice a day. This roller has seen my family stay healthy when so many other kids have sadly gotten sick and not only that if mine gets sick they are not sick for a long time so please take a picture of this recipe again I'll send this to you actually you don't have to worry but this one I would make immediately it is super important to understand what's in this bottle and why what's in this roller so we have purification it prevents infection right we have thieves that's our immunity blend we have frankincense. This is also the one that looks for cells that are malfunctioning or not doing what they should do and helps them to be better and to sort themselves out and to function properly. It's also our anti-cancer essential oil, right? So it's super powerful. Then three drops of lemon. Lemon detoxifies. Fun fact, but our lemon essential oil is made from the rind of lemons that makes it alkaline so it's a really nice alkaline detoxifier those of you who like putting lemon in your water in the morning rather try one drop of lemon essential oil in warm water and then one drop of oregano in this roller oregano is the antibiotic in the essential oil world so i tell people this is my very favorite and first essential oil that i buy outside of a premium starter bundle pack okay because Every house needs oregano or oregano. And in the roller, you would then fill it with carrier oil. Okay. So every day I roll this under my kids' feet and off they go to school. And or I put it down their spine, by the way. If one of them is like, I can see it's the start of sickness, they're coughing, whatever's going on, we will start to use it more often in the day. And then I'll also make them a thieves tea, which is one drop of thieves, two drops of lemon essential oil, put a nice big bunch of honey and then stir it and then you can drink that so oils that are applied to the sp spinal column are absorbed through the nerves that feed the entire body so that's why we put it there all right temperatures this is what made me a believer in young living essential oils so it is so simple that's what i love about this you just need a 10 ml roller bottle an empty one one drop of peppermint, one drop of frankincense. Now, I do increase the number of peppermint and frank depending on the age of the child. So this for me is absolutely fine for a child that is probably four years and under. A five-year-old to an eight-year-old, I would put two to three drops each of peppermint and frank. And then a 12-year-old kind of follows similar to an adult. So you can go up to eight drops of peppermint and eight drops of frankincense for them for a 12-year-old, okay? So you would put the essential oils in first and then you fill it with carrier. And I like to tell people that when it comes to a temperature, just think of the letter T for temperature. That's how you want to apply it on the back of a child, behind their neck for the top of the T, down the spine for the bottom of the T. Okay. Not only there, do an O <clears throat> and do a little ring around their front belly button. So you want, you're basically working on the core. So it's down the spine and around the belly and definitely under the feet. And you can apply this every 30 minutes or as needed. So this is what we do in my house. We don't use any, any fever reducers or painkillers at all. No suppositories, nothing. And again, no judgment. I've been there. I did use all of those. I'm not saying that they don't work. But I find with this, there's no side effect and the body kind of knows what to do. And remember, fever is always a good sign. It's telling you the body's actually fighting off that virus or those germs. So you can run a few drops of frankincense neat as well on those same places as above mentioned. And then you can apply diluted peppermint. So if you didn't pre-prepare a roller, you can just go and put one drop of peppermint, one drop of frankincense to make it easy for you. Grab a tablespoon of any carrier, dump it in your hand, rub it like this. Core of the child, put a t-shirt over them if they are younger, and then put the rest under their feet. So that will really help you with bringing that temperature down. Okay, next, the nosebleed. We had a nosebleed in our house about two weeks ago. Shame, unfortunately. 
but all was good because we had our roller ready. So this one is Cypress Lavender. And you can see here, it's eight drops of Cypress, eight drops of Lavender. If your child is under two, I would say to you to halve this recipe. So if they are three and older, you are fine to do it the way that it is. And all you do is you roll this again between your hands. That's just to mix the essential oil. And you can apply a few swipes to the bridge of the nose, as well as in arms and wrists. So whether it was caused by dry weather or a bump to the nose, the roller works wonders. And it's also a great distraction as well. Okay, so motion roller. My older daughter gets very motion sick unfortunately but this really really helps her so in a 10 ml glass roller bottle eight drops of dajas eight drops of peppermint se seven drops of ginger again this is like for a five-year-old plus if your child is younger than that i would halve this recipe just to four drops of dajas four drops of peppermint and about three drops of ginger so again, with this one, we do it to wrists and the back of neck, and you can do clockwise on the stomach. A lot of children get that queasy feeling, so that's why we need it on the tummy. And another really great one to use if you haven't pre-prepared a roller, just have peppermint with you. I keep a lot of my essential oils on me in my purse, and I will just whip that peppermint essential oil out, and I'll put it, you just smell it directly from the bottle to help with nausea. By the way, this is also really amazing for cancer patients if they are going through chemotherapy. They will take their peppermint oil and just sit there smelling it to help them with nausea. You can also put a drop in your water and sip on it for support. That's for adults. Okie dokes, scar roller. So if your little one got a boo-boo or if you have and you wanted to heal and you don't want to have a scar, this is such a brilliant, brilliant recipe. So helichrysum is the key. Helichrysum is the healer. When you think of H, helichrysum, healer. So frankincense also, remember I told you frankincense is the one that's looking for the cells not working right. Let me get it to work right. It fixes and repairs. Helichrysum, healer. So it's going to help with bleeding. It's going to help to stop all of that. And it's going to help to let it heal really well. We have had slices and cuts in fingers, be it myself or my husband or my kids. It will close that cut so quickly and it helps to keep it like germ free as well. 10 drops of myrrh is fantastic to add to the scar roller, lavender as well. And then you can use rosehip oil or carrot seed oil if preferred, or you can just fill it with another carrier oil. And again, you just gently roll it the bottle between your hands before you apply. This helps to mix the essential oil and the carrier oil, and then apply it directly to the scar two to three times a day. Keep it out the sun, by the way. I'm sure most of you know that. Okay, so this one, Ultra Calm Skin Balm, one of my most popular recipes ever, because this is actually for eczema. So I know it's, this was quite specific. It says 118 ml glass jar, 120 mils. Just use that. And by the way, that's half a cup. So just look at something that's about half a cup size glass jar. And in this recipe, I actually need to edit that as well down there. You want to use half a cup of cold pressed organic coconut oil. Again, you are going to use a double boiler to get that coconut oil to become liquefied. Then you're going to wait for it to cool a little bit. Add your purification Melrose lavender frankincense. And then you can blend it with a fork or an electric mixer. Then you're going to pour that into that jar. And there you go. You have your balm. So this is ready. You would just apply it to the dry and irritated areas. But a quick little note, only because I love working with kids and families and babies. And when it comes to eczema, you have to remem remember the trifecta. You have to remember gut health. And that child absolutely needs to go off eating sugar, dairy, and wheat. So you must help for that gut to heal from within as well. So this is going to bring a lot of topical relief. I have seen it before. I remember when Sage was two, um, she used to play with another little girl who shame got eczema like by, right by her eye and right by her lip. And this mom really didn't want to go and put steroids in those areas. So I made this for her and it was so awesome for me to see the improvement. Every day that I saw her, it was just better and better. By day, I think it was about day 10, there was no evidence that she'd even had anything irritated or red. So this is a great one to make and to keep. 
All right, tummy tamer roller, sore tummies. They've either eaten something that doesn't agree with them, they ate too much, they ate too quickly, et cetera. Um, roller bottle, that's 10 mils. You want 12 drops of Dijaz, four drops of peppermint. For little ones, again, that are like five and younger, I would halve this recipe again. So you can add 10 drops of any of the following essential oils to amp it up, ginger, cardamom, or tangerine. So... Hopefully we will get some of those. We don't have cardamom here. We do have ginger and hopefully we'll get tangerine as well soon. So you want to apply this one clockwise. It's actually interesting with this. We say applied clockwise if you need to poop and anti-clockwise if you're actually having diarrhea. So I am never without a tummy tamer roller. And the alternative to this, by the way, is you just buy Young Living's Kid Sense tummy jars. You don't have to make it yourself. Add on an Aroma Glide fitment and it's good to go. Okay, you can just roll it right on because it has been pre-diluted. So that's a really good one to have and we keep it on hand. Tantrum tamer roller. So if you have a toddler, you've probably experienced a tantrum. And what is so great, I mean, of course, in addition to conscious parenting and reconnecting first before you try and correct behavior, you actually try and do some mindfulness, calming, breathing, all those things. But this is such a beautiful tool to integrate, you guys. It is just it's very special for me because I've seen how this works. So you can take that this roller that is pre-made with your white Angelica, your white Haven. Again, if your child is under five, I would say halve this recipe. And a variation is Joy Orange and Valor. You can see it there. And what I do is I actually like to do that one of let's smell the flower and blow the candle. This gets them to breathe. So I put the roller on them and I'm like smell your flower or you know smell our essential oils and blow your candle smell blow so actually they're doing some breath work which are without realizing what they're doing to help to ground and center them and calm them down so a really good one for you to have and to make i love those white angelica and white Owl haven and they're also so lovely for them to sleep so for those kids that are a little bit more introverted maybe they're shy Maybe, and I hate to say this, but honestly, maybe they are currently being bullied at some stage. I think a lot of kids go through this, even if they aren't, I don't know, even if the, if it's not something that happens all the time, sometimes it happens sometimes. So Valor is such a beautiful essential oil when it comes to a child being brave. And again, it might be that they're doing a presentation in class. It might be that they have to stand up for the first time and speak in a microphone for the first time. Um, it could be all sorts of things that have them feeling quite anxious. Again, if you have a child who is more anxious, I would definitely make this roller and keep it on hand. So it's kind of like the kitty calm as well as confidence. So five drops of Valor here. You've got frankincense, lavender, cedarwood. This is a beautiful roller blend that you can do in your 10 mil glass bottle. And again, this is going to go down spine and apply to inner wrists and behind ears. When we're dealing with emotions, usually, almost always actually, we're going to put it where we would perfume. So you're going to put on wrists and behind ears. That is really going to help with emotional balance. Focus roller. So this is a fantastic one for kids who could be on the spectrum, but also just for a child that's maybe like, oh, they are wired, they're hopped up. Maybe they just played soccer and you actually need them to kind of calm down and come into a room or a space and be focused to get something done or to help with a chore or just like, kind of settle the air a little bit. So I would use these same essential oils in the diffuser, by the way, as well, or you can make a focus roller. You can also get kitty jewelry, which is quite nice. So you can put it onto lava bead necklaces or bracelets, but it's going to be cedarwood, lavender, and vetiver. Those are my three favorites when it comes to focusing. And we have an, a fun fact here. In 2001, Dr. Terry Friedman found that these essential oils greatly increase children's performance by varying amounts. So lavender by 53%, cedarwood by 83%, and vetiver by 100% percent of increased performance in terms of focus and whatever it is that they're trying to achieve and you would again put this on behind the neck behind ears on shoulders and actually on big toes 
Okay, if your child falls down and they have a boo-boo or a whoopsie, we make an owie spray. So when it comes to sprays, you can buy yourself, this should be a 60 ml glass bottle or even a 50 ml is totally fine. I think we, it's easier to get a 50 ml. So you would put in seven drops of Frank, lavender, tea tree. Those are going to clean this cut or scrape. It will have a slight sting or burn, but it will do a whole lot better than some of the other cleaners out there. And it is cleaning it, it's disinfecting, and you don't you just spray it on. So you're going to fill that bottle with distilled water. Okay. And you can add a bit of witch hazel because witch hazel often when it comes to sprays, it helps to mix the essential oils and water. So this you just shake it a little bit. And you would just spray it to that boo-boo, follow it with a kiss, and you use this one as often as needed. Nappy cream. So this is what I was kind of touching on before. Again, you would want your double boiler. And you can see that this recipe is using lavender, gentle baby Melrose. But it does add an, like a bunch of other awesome products in here. You would get beeswax pellets, shea butter, and cold-pressed coconut oil. You only need three tablespoons of each of those. Again, double boiler, let it melt down. By the way, most amazing lip balm as well, or things for cut scrapes and, you know, those sorts of things. Now, rose ointment was just launched here, and I'm going to touch on that a little bit later, but that's one that's already been made for you. If you don't want it ready made for you and you want to do it yourself, this is such a beautiful recipe. It's what I did way back when, and I used it for all the things and loved it, but now we use rose ointment for, well, not for a nappy cream because I don't need to anymore, but we use it for cut scrapes, all the things. So I'll show you guys how that, that works. So you can rub some between your hands to soften it and warm it for your baby. Allow your baby to smell the calming oils before applying it to their bum. And remember that the baby shouldn't ingest those. Okay, sleep time. It's not a foot scrub. It's actually a foot rub. I need to edit that, but yeah, it's a rub. So this one I have actually had someone who made this at some workshop and this is what sold her on essential oils on our young living essential oils it was this she could not believe how well her child slept and then she put it on herself for herself and said like I have never slept so deeply and well neither has my child so we say five or ten drops of lavender five or ten of cedarwood five or ten of valor depends and if you're making it for a child, or if you're making it for an adult, so that shows that in this recipe. Again, you can do the double boiler where you use the coconut oil and you melt it down. You actually don't necessarily, by the way, have to melt down this one. You can blend it with a fork or an electric mixer until it's soft and fluffy. So massage it on feet before bedtime stories or before naps and apply it to socks after. It's gentle enough for babies. It is effective enough for adults. All right, growth spurt balm. So if you have kids, it usually happens around, it can start even around six years old, sometimes five. When they are growing, they get those little growing pains. They might wake up randomly. Every child is different how they experience this, same as teething. So if they say to you, oh, it's so sore, my legs hurt, usually it's their shins and sometimes it's their upper legs. So this is another one that has been an all-time favorite. In fact, I cannot tell you how many of these I've actually made and gifted to friends, kids that were going through growing growth spurt. <laughs> Excuse me. So 10 drops of Panaway, 10 drops of Valor, 10 drops of peppermint, 10 drops of lemongrass, 10 drops of copaiba. So all of those essential oils are our pain essential oils. And if you have girls that are already, you know, maybe 11, 12, 13, and they're actually getting their first period, this is the same essential oils that you can use in a roller bottle that is so helpful for period pain. So definitely invest in those ones. And again, you would, with this particular growth spurt balm, you would put cold pressed organic coconut oil. You can blend it all with a fork or electric mixer until soft and fluffy. So this is for any pain, but you can also use this if your child actually fell and hurt themselves and it feels sore and bruised. This will really help with, with pain as well. But generally it's more like a, an aching pain, something that kind of came more from within, like a period pain or a growth spurt that's happening okay so apply it after a bath and you can put it on the legs if your child is on the spectrum definitely if there's an like ad any of them um or autistic 
There was the other one I mentioned before, like the Tantrum Tamer. It's similar essential oils, but this is such a beautiful roller bottle recipe too with orange, vela, and release. Release is phenomenal. So there was a testimonial on this one. And this person said, I knew he was tired on top of being angry that we were watching Thomas and not Tot story, because this is sometimes what happens, right? Is that it's a trigger for a child and it completely throws them as well as not liking the particular kind of chicken I made for lunch. But five minutes after a tantrum tamer roller to his feet, he was back to our sweet little angel and was able to settle on the couch and fall asleep. So that tantrum tamer or orange vela and release are really great. I kind of like the orange vela and release when a child is older than five and the other one with the white angelica when they are younger than five. All right, scalp spray and 50 ml glass spray bottle. So this, I'll fix all those things, by the way, before I share the slides. So with this one, this is to prevent lice, okay? So I do this with my kids and we have not have a problem, touch wood. And I definitely, when I hear that there's a lice outbreak in any, any of the grades, even if my kid's not in it, I will absolutely start using this religiously on them. And you can actually spray it on the hair and on their backpacks or clothing before they go to school. Then we have an insect repellent spray. So that one is purification or tea tree and or citronella, by the way. So you can put this neat on the feet and that actually really works so that you can put it before the kid even goes to school. So remember it gets absorbed because our pores under our feet are the largest and the components of these essential oils can alter your pheromones to help deter pests, including lice. One drop on the bottom of your feet will circulate throughout the cells in your body within 20 minutes. Another fun fact, by the way, that I learned last summer, geranium essential oil is fantastic if your children love to swim in a chlorinated pool and you cannot stand the smell of chlorine and you don't like it like on their bodies and skin. So a drop under their feet actually helps to remove that chlorine. All right, other great ideas for kids. We are nearing the end. So thank you guys for your patience here. I know there's a lot of information I've shared with you. If your child is very constipated, in addition to that tummy tamer roller that you can use, put one drop of peppermint essential oil in the toilet bowl. This works wonders. So you don't even have to tell them that you're doing that. But remember, it goes in the toilet bowl, not on their bodies, okay? And just have them sit there. It's actually constricting the blood vessels right by the anus, and it helps to relax it. And it it will help for a poop to come out. So seriously, try it if you ever have that issue. Here's the rose ointment I was talking to you about. You can see this baby has some wind chapped cheeks. So it is fantastic for that. For dry lips, for cuts, for scrapes, and for eczema, we have our rose ointment. It doesn't smell like rose. It comes in quite a smallish little jar, but I'm telling you, a little goes a long way. Mine's actually sitting right over there. Broken bones. Vala, you want to use Vala neat around the area and helichrysum. So a fun fact is that Vala has the same frequency as our bones. That's why it works so well. And here is a picture of my two crazy kiddos and they are drinking their Ningxia Red. It is such a delicious, nutritive, superfood drink for overall health. So we do that instead of a multivitamin and they love it. And they often ask for more, but one sachet is plenty. And if you are on a budget even, seriously, share that sachet for each child and give them a shot glass of it. It is just absolutely brilliant. And for you guys too, save for pregnant women as well. So I wanted to include the Play-Doh recipe because this one is such fun. And actually, my child's made this on her own, loves to do it. And this is a way, you know, you guys have probably seen aroma dough and you've seen that it actually is used as a therapy. So there's all the ingredients and it's so simple to make it. But some ideas are you can actually make it a thieves infused one and that's got immune boosting properties. So who knew that you can make Play-Doh that's actually helping to prevent germs and viruses from entering your kids' bodies? Joy is a beautiful one to use for happy playtime, orange for a fresh, uplifting scent, and you can play around with different smells and what it what it's doing for your kid. You can do gentle baby, of course, you can do a lavender one, and it's got all the, it's a natural stress reliever as well for adults. So everything is there, and again, I'll share it. So this month, we do have some relevant 
bundles and things. So the Gentle Baby Bundle for 599 Rand, you actually get that cute little towel for your little bubba and you get the Gentle Baby Essential Oil. So you are saving a fair amount there. Um, it's regularly 670 Rand. And then KidSense, our Kid Power Essential Oil, is celebrating its two years of being in South Africa. So it's 30% off and only 179 Rand. Remember, this is the one for confidence, for calming, for feeling brave, etc. So that's a really good one for this month. And then if you aren't already in our support teams, please reach out and ask. I'll put my number in the chat again for you guys. We have WhatsApp groups, we have Facebook groups, Instagram. And all of my videos like this one too will be uploaded into YouTube for you guys to look at later and, you know, go through it again if you want. So I also have the essential book, which I helped to co-write. So you can purchase one of those. It's got recipes, a whole bunch of guidance on how to use our oils. And tonight, so many of the recipes came from the oil and glass recipe book. I do have some of them left. They're 450 Rand. They are this is this is my all-time favorite recipe book, to be honest. It kind of covers everything from in the kitchen, all the kids, all the things. This is the book I was telling you about that when I first got my essential oils, I actually invested in one of these. I put like little leaves, I flagged it, collected all the oils that I needed for it. And then I spent two hours one night and had everything. I literally had all the rollers, all the ointments, everything was done. And it only took two hours because I kind of took my time with each thing. And I even made some diffuser pre, pre recipes. And the way that you can do that is you can take an empty essential oil bottle and make a diffuser bomb. So you can already pre prepare lavender and cedarwood as an example, as your sleep bomb diffuser essential oil and then you just put like three drops in the diffuser it's already pre-mixed you've already put like the cedar wood and lavender together that brings me to the end of this class and it's now time for you guys to ask me any questions that you might have 